I'm with the man that makes all of this happen, Andy Copping. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, how's it been going? It's actually uh, been going really well. I mean, obviously we're into uh, day two now. Yesterday was great. Um, I mean, a lot of great band. Bring Me The Horizon on the second stage were unbelievable. Uh, Corn were great, Pendulum. Uh, Darkness were phenomenal yeah, yesterday. They were excellent. Really good. Now you're the prom you're the promoter for the festival. Like I said you make all this happen band wise, etc. And I mean, have you been? Did you succumb to Donington when you were a kid? Yes, I did. I was actually at the very very first uh, Monsters of Rock back in 1980 as a very young boy, um, and I came to a lot of the Monsters of Rock right throughout the 80s and and through the 90s. And then, uh, luckily enough, I got the opportunity to be the promoter and the booker of Download Festival. So it's, like dream, it's like a dream come true for oh, you. Oh, it's then. a big time dream, absolutely. I mean, even now, I kind of pinch myself and think, oh my God, you know, the position that I'm in, I'm having to book the bands for this like amazing festival that's got all this history and all this heritage. Now, very, I'm a lucky boy. Yeah, you are. And um, what do you think makes it so special, the Download Festival? I think, again, going back to the, 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 the history and the heritage of, of Donington itself. Um, there's a real magic about the place. The bands love playing here. I, I get every year, I get the agents and the managers and, and in some cases even the bands themselves saying, oh, we really, really want to come and play Donington, really want to come and play Download. And the weird thing is, is even if it's bands that have played before, it's like they want to come back again, they want to come back yeah. again. Um, and there's, I don't know, there's just a real good spirit about it, good vibe backstage, whether it's you know, in the artist area where we are now, or you know, over in the like the guest area, out with all the punters. It's, it, it, I don't know. There's just a really, really lovely vibe about the place. Yeah, there definitely is. I mean, how, how does it work when it comes to booking the bands? Do you have like a wish list that you put together, and then you contact the bands, or how, how does? How oh, does to be that honest, happen? it's an absolute pain in the arse <laughs> trying to pull it all together. It, the I mean, there are some bands that are available and they definitely want to play it. There's others that want to play but they're not available because it doesn't fit within their schedule. There are others that want ridiculous amounts of money. They all want ridiculous yeah. amounts of money. But some of them, you know, just off the scale with uh, with what they want. Sometimes you have to pay a bit more than you really should because you want to ensure that you're going to get certain acts. I mean, it's just kind of stitching everything together. It was kind of weird, like this year, I think we've counted something like 144 bands a book to play over the whole weekend which is the most we've ever ever done uh, and I'm thinking my god I, I've done that and it's like this huge jigsaw so it's like the big you know we all like, do the corners then you do the bit all around the edge and then you've got to put all the bits in the middle then there's some annoying little bit that you can't find and that's it's exactly the same as you put in the different stages together and getting the whole feel of the festival and making sure all the bands are right so it's not easy yeah. it's what you know it's what I do I think that at next year it'll be slightly better and slightly easier it never is um, it is an absolute pain in the backside but you know we still managed to pull it off year on year so you know onwards and upwards 2012 here we come so, so how many tickets have you sold for the whole festival then we've sold a lot of tickets we're actually i'd heard today that we've just broken the 70,000 mark which is absolutely fantastic um the vibe is good everybody is in good spirits um the weather has actually kind of held out yeah. a couple of little showers yesterday kind of just to give us all a bit of a wash um, today the sun's out, there's a bit of a breeze, the old nipples are up, I'm a bit embarrassed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're all in good shape. Um, can you clear one thing up for me? I've seen lots of zombies wandering around. What's the deal? Well, I, this all stemmed from the fact that we've got Rob Zombie playing on Sunday and somebody came up with this idea is why don't we have a zombie day? I don't know who it was, mm. but then they said we'll have the zombie day on the Friday and I'm thinking, well, Rob's playing on the Sunday and you're having the zombie day on the Friday but anyway people have got all dressed up and there's loads of them around yeah. there. I was, I was walking through the crowd early on it's like all these like it's like Michael Jackson's thriller video oh they're all coming out of the woodwork but the thing is they're all wearing it today it's looking a little bit flaky and a bit dry maybe they're not wearing costumes uh, you, you know, might be right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could just be yeah. that <laughs> too but, much but I think they're going like, to get it all topped up and uh, all stuff like that. We saw Black Veil Brides walking around yesterday. They're not playing till Sunday. Oh, they look great, don't they? They look amazing. I, I wouldn't mind getting some makeup tips from them. You should have a word, yeah. I'll tell you. Not that I'm criticising <laughs> your makeup, but yeah, they're, they're looking pretty good, those boys. Well, Andy, listen, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to let you go and warm your nipples up. Yes, thank there you. you. Go. I need, I have, that's, <laughs> yeah. I'll speak to you later. Thank you. See you later. See ya.